Version 4 of MySchoolFees.com If you have used previous versions, your sign-in information should still work. If you have forgotten your password, click this to be sent a reset link. If you are a new user, click Create a New Account. After you sign in, you are brought to your payment dashboard. Any students that you have added in previous versions may show up here. If there are students that are not yours, simply click Remove. To add a student, type in the student's or school. Select the school and then type in the student's ID number. If you do not know this number, contact your school finance secretary or bookkeeper. When you click Add, it will ask you to confirm that that is the correct student. Click Yes. That student is then added on your list. You can add a photo for your student by clicking here. This is simply for your purposes. Click Show Fees to view fees for that student. Select the different fee groups to view fees under those categories. Some will have you type in an amount and then click Add to your cart. Click Continue Shopping. Items added to your cart will stay there even if you sign out and sign back in until you complete your transaction. There are also public item fees. These are fees that are tied directly to the school, not necessarily tied to a student. Click Show Fees to view the fee categories. Some fees may be set up as an event. When you add those to the cart, it will ask you to select the desired date if there are multiple dates. Some fees may have options like attributes like size or color or an optional text field. Some options may have a form attached I'm now going to go to my checkout screen. If there are any options associated with the fee, those will show up here under this column. As you continue your checkout, if you have not made your selections for your tickets or filled out the form, it will direct you to those. I'm going to go ahead and click checkout. If you have added any public fees to your card, it will ask you who those are for now. If you have multiple ones, you can use this button to copy that information to everything. Since I need added tickets to my card, it takes me now where I need to make my selections. As you move your mouse over the seating map, it will show you the area highlighted that your ticket is good for. You can then select the seats that you wish to add. If you change your mind, you may uncheck them. When you have decided on your seats, click the Reserve button. The selections will expire in 15 minutes if you do not complete your transaction during that time. Then they will be released back to the public. If you have added a form to your card, there is a link to fill out a form. If there is a signature box, you may draw your signature with your mouse or with your finger if you have a touch screen, or you may click clear to retry. And then click submit. You are then taken to the checkout and payment screen. I'm just going to fill out test information for this transaction. and click Checkout. Once your transaction is complete, you, if you've added any tickets to your cart, they will be printable here, which you can take to the event to have scanned. If you have forgotten your tickets, you can pull up your receipt email, which will contain a link to print your tickets at the event or to bring them up on your phone which they can be scanned from. If you have any further questions, 
please contact your finance secretary or bookkeeper. Thank you for using MySchoolFees.com.